friends. Can you tell me what the last story was and what kind of picture you made? Yes, sun invited earth and earth was created. But the sun was hot so it was going to get the sky to help by bringing rain. Let's go on a story trip with these friends to see if rain really comes. One day, as the sun spoke, rain fell from the sky. While it was raining, the sun hid behind the clouds. And when the rain stopped, the sun came back. Soon afterwards, flowers grew from the land and a big, strong tree began to grow. Everyone was very happy to see this. Then Sun said that they really had another friend to share their joy with. Oh, it really rained! Now let's draw a picture of today's story. Pencil, eraser, wow, prepare the crayons. Last time, did we learn to draw earth? Last time I drew the earth big. I'll try to make it look littler today. So I'll draw the land. How do you want to draw the sun? Hiding behind the clouds? First, draw the clouds and hide the sun a little. It feels like the sun has come out a little bit, right? Now, I have drawn the clouds and the sun. What should I draw next? Yes! Should we try to draw the sprouts growing out of the land? Flowers growing and the tree growing? Sprouts look like this. Small stems and leaves. Small. I'll draw a flower next to that. The stem and the middle circle. I'll draw these ovals one by one. You can just draw a few, not too many circles. Next. Please draw small leaves. Yes! Next, shall we draw a big tree in the middle? First, draw a big rectangle like this. Now here is the ground. So you have to erase it like a tree is in front of you. I drew a strong tree that's big and tall like it's the hero. This is the tree's trunk like a pillar. Some of you who have observed trees know what they look like. Tree branches spread out from the big pillar. Let's go straight up and spread out the branches. The tree has many branches that spread out like this. Yes! Next, I'm going to draw a tree full of green leaves. It would be difficult to draw them one by one. I think it's full of leaves, so I'll draw one big shape. They're so round and so big. Lush leaves seem to be gathered here. Let's draw fruit on our tree. I'll draw you a circle. A big one, a small one, some smaller ones, and some bigger ones. Yes, I have colored this fruit. Now, shall we color it all in? I'll color the sun, clouds, flowers, tree with crayons. Would you like to color the tree first? 
Okay, so pick a color similar to a tree and color like this. First of all, I'll fill in the big square like this and color it all. Yes, the wood is colored. Then, draw in the branches too. And let's color the leaves. I will try to color the leaves with round, round, round lines. They're so round. So beautiful to mix colors with crayons. And I will color the fruit with lots of colors. Red, orange, blue, and yellow green. And the cloud! I colored it with round curves of sky blue. I'll color the bright sun. Yes! And let's color the flowers. I'll color the flowers pink. Can you color with your favorite color? Then the middle is orange, the stem and leaves are greenish. I also colored a small sprout beside it with the lighter green. I think you might like coloring if your friends help you. Next, I'll use the side and color the ground like I did last time. When you rub it like this, the soft ground will be colored in fast. Ask your friends how to color this. It is good to know friends who think differently from you. So then, Use the side of the crayon to color the sky. Please rub gently. We've just completed the sky. So soft. Oh, there's something missing. Can you guess what? Yes, yes. Aren't there expressions? These friends are waiting for you to draw their faces. I want to give them presents. I'll give an expression to the tree first. A smiling face. And it is smiling beautifully. Since the sun is hiding too, I'll make it smile just with its eyes. And the clouds can smile. And the earth has a smiling face. Yes, it's more fun to draw the places like this. There now, it's finished. Friends, how was your class today? I can hardly wait to see what kind of pictures you have drawn. Like the small fruit on the trees that we have drawn today, I hope that all our friends grow up beautifully. Then I will be with you again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.